Today we're going to work on depth because it's very important to be able to hit the ball further or not as far depending on the situation as tennis is often all about placement. I've divided my court into three sections and so I set up two of my dot markers. This is zone one, this is zone two, and here's zone three. On my partner's side of the court he only has one dot marker, that's because I'm aiming for the same spot every time. Now both of us are playing four hands and he has to make four four hands into zone one, then four into zone two, and then four into zone three before we switch. They don't have to be in a row and so we just keep going until he makes four into each zone. I start with the toss. He's made one. He's made two. And he's made four into zone one. Now I could continue the rally if I want, if I don't want to catch the ball and start it again. It's up to me. Now with each zone, if he just simply hits the ball higher as he moves back to zones two and three, then he'll achieve his goal. Finally, zone three. There's one, two, and we would keep going until he gets four into this back zone. Now notice his position is in the middle of the box, so he's not too far back, and I'm aiming for a pretty short target. After he's completed four in each zone, then it's my turn. So we'll switch sides of the court, and I'll take a turn of trying to hit four into each zone. Then in round two, we're gonna hit what's called cross court, which means diagonal. It's very important to be able to hit diagonally in tennis, because you're going over a lower part of the net, you have a longer court to work with, and you also don't have to recover as far after you hit cross court as when you hit straight. So my partner stays where he is. I'm going to just pick up my dots and move them over to the cross court side. I set up my three zones again and we start. Now it's possible that you may have a left-hander and a right-hander working together, and that's fine. You just wanna know that you need to stagger your position. So if I'm left-handed, he's right-handed. I am facing to my left, so I'm gonna stand way over here so I'm out of the way of his target. And he's also facing the same direction because he's right-handed but on the opposite side of the net. If I'm right-handed, then I'm going to stand over here facing this way. And so all of these activities can be modified even if you have a left-hander and a right-hander working together. So same thing, I'll toss the ball in. He goes for zone one. He got it. Remember, he has to make four shots into zone one before moving to zone number two. Now he goes for zone two. I'm switching to left-handed here, so I stagger to the side. After he makes four, he goes to zone number three. So again, once he gets four in zone three, then we switch and I have a turn at hitting cross court. Now, in order to hit the ball in different directions, we wanna pay attention to the angle of the paddle when we make contact. And so if I make contact with the ball, say I'm hitting it towards that fence there, and my paddle's like this, this is a good open angle, but this is gonna send the ball straight. Now, if I have my paddle more like this, it's more angled to the left, then I'll be able to send the ball cross court. And so if you're having trouble hitting the ball cross court, think about making contact with the ball slightly earlier so that your paddle is angled in that direction when you make contact. If you hit the ball too late, it's gonna go straight. If you hit the ball too early, it's gonna go really wide cross court and so you kind of have to find that happy medium but knowing this information will allow you to self-correct.